what did I ever do in this world to, go, to deserve an empty-headed fucking dumb fuck like Hangman Adam Page to go out on national television and fucking go into business for himself? I just want to make it clear again. Nick, it's when... not his position to make it very fucking clear. There's people who call themselves EVPs that should have fucking known better. The wrestling world, everyone is in complete shambles over everyone is in complete shambles over the CM Punk AEW All Out Media Scrum. After the media scrum, Punk and himself and A Steel by also getting into a fight with the elite, the EVPs, the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. Now I've also heard about the legal issues, you know, the situation it might be where CM Punk, I don't know if that's the, come on now, Tony Khan is head over heels, he's, he's like a high school crush girl that meets her first crush, but I don't think uh, CM Punk is going to get fired, maybe he will, uh, considering the uh, controversy now that may uh, grow even bigger over this uh, little altercation that happened between CM Punk, A Steel, and the Elite. Because A Steel is not a wrestler, you know, he's practically just a bystander, just like everybody else in the arena. So, yeah, no doubt. And this was at a—I I know it's their event, but this is practically at a public place, and with uh, at other venues. So, which is why uh, legal issues were probably uh, the Young Bucks. You know, you know how the elite works. The so-called they want to be so they want to so badly they want to so badly be NWO. What NWO? You have so many groups now that so badly wants to be NWO. What they were and you know DX the Click. What was but you know them back in the nineties? And it's like, <laughs> no, you know, y'all can never replicate that. And like you know, you know it's all completely laughable. And you obviously have everybody taking sides. You have your WWE, you know, fangirls. And then you have the AEW cuckolds. You know, everybody's trying to, you know, just as usual, everybody's trying to, you know, stay still, like, using old clips. You know, people are just trying to use the situation to discredit CM Punk even more. But, you know what I'm going to do? Because, you know, like always, I'm not, I think for myself, I have my own brain and I you know, I'm, I'm the entity known as Laura Cosmo. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna fanboy. Obviously, I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna backpedal off, you know, between companies. That's what I'm not gonna do. And I'm not gonna, you know, try to take whoever sides. Everybody is, and this situation involved in the fight, and just, you know, as the situation gets more and more worse, everybody's in the wrong. And, you know, nobody, there, there is no passing the blame. You know, everybody everybody in the situation is wrong. And Tony Khan is like is the big you know, is the big situation blamer, you know, because you know, he's responsible for all of this and all of this happening. You know, he and he's literally doing nothing about it. I've heard as far as like obviously that they don't want to talk about it any further. Everybody is told to be uh being kept quiet and they don't want to talk anybody any about it further. Which is why he was trying to avoid the situation, but Punk was uh, not going to really allow that. Which is why you have this whole thing blowing out in st on stage, on center stage in oblivion. So, uh, and then the fight happened thereafter. So, like, like everybody has their shared of the blame. You know, there is no right or wrong. And it's just, you know, it's sick. <laughs> you know, it sickens me and it makes me laugh at the same time, too. Because you have, like I said... Just like the YouTubers also, you have everybody taking sides and you have a like a whole majority of people trying to climb on and trying to bash and trying to talk so much shit about punk when they're just yeah, they're when they used to be fangirls and they're just and they're and they're nerds, they're cuckold sucking off whichever companies they're trying to suck off. You know, and they used to, and they used to be a, a, pretty sure they used to be a fan of CM Punk, but now they want to act like you know he was he, you know, he's, he's the situation, you know, he's the instigator, you know, he's like a fake, uh, messiah mar martyr, and, uh, you know, yeah, that just, uh, makes, that makes me, uh, sit back and laugh, because everybody, you know, is everybody, everybody's, everybody is a shill, 
But, you know, like I said, everybody, everybody has their share of the blame here. You know, there is no ifs or ands about it. But this situation, uh, when, it, when you want to talk about Punk, you know, yeah, he like the Young Bucks. You know, I want to talk about that situation for, for sure. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, they need to be fired. They need to be fired as EBPs, and they need to be severely punished. Punk as well. He needs to, you know, he needs to be punished. You know, everybody in this situation needs to be punished. They need to be punished, and, it's, and it needs to be severe punishment. But I don't think that's going to happen, considering the type of individual and the type of, you know, fanboy, fangirl, uh, geek, nerd that, that Tony Khan is. And this situation is going to get, you know, this, 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 this story, this does this just tells the story in AEW just getting the, the cesspool of turmoil in AEW is growing larger and larger. And it's just, it's getting out of control. Very out of much control. That's why when I was talking about AEW All Out, that's why I didn't want to divide the attention and jump on, you know, and jump on the bandwagon like everybody else. I just wanted to, uh, even though I thought it was kind of a decent or I didn't, you know, it probably was, you know, pretty much a letdown. Probably one of their much, obviously, weaker. It's one of their more weaker and lesser pay-per-views, you know, when it comes to uh, their build-ups and the paper, pay-per-view itself. But, yeah, it's just uh, AEW All Out is going to get overshadowed because of the drama that happened after the fact. And it just came out of nowhere, so... Yeah, it's just, you know, it's an utter shame, considering the fact, because I've also said, too, that I wanted AEW to prosper, but look at where we at now. I said that, you know, the darkness will come out. Whatever whatever skeleton and shadiness and dark secrets, it will come out into the light, and that's just, that's definitely what's being happened. Added CM Punk into the mix also, what that was never going to work also as well. I would, you know... <laughs> It was never going to work. And you got other people also that just, because CM Punk is, yeah, he's just, he light fires wherever wherever he goes. That's what I had to say about it. And, you know, that's that. But, yeah, it's just an utter shame what's going on right now. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how all this is going to play out because you know what's going to happen next. And, yeah, it's just going to continue to get worse. But stay blessed, y'all. And I'll see y'all there. We're going to see what happens Wednesday or whatever else happens. And I'll try to talk about that also as well. But yeah, the situation is going to get even worse and further.